Hi everyone, it's Lynn Smythe from The Creative Cottage. Thank you for taking the time to visit my YouTube channel today. I hope you're all having a great day. Today, I'm going to be going over this small bundle of jewelry. Um, it's all uh, branded, signed Leah Sophia jewelry. And I got some of it in an online auction from shopgoodwill.com. And then I've been collecting other pieces from other jewelry lots I've won here and there. Um, so I just thought I'd do another one of my Meet the Artist uh, videos and just show some of the jewelry. So Leah Sophia, I believe, has been around since around 1986. They're a Chicago, or they were a Chicago-based um, custom jewelry company uh, they did kind of like direct sales uh, and had a bunch of sales reps kind of like um, I don't think they want to say it's pyramid scheme but it was kind of like you know how you sell Tupperware and you have home parties it originated that way at one point um, I think they had around 30,000 independent sales representatives nationwide and they sold um, anywhere from one hundred to two hundred million dollars worth of costume jewelry per year unfortunately uh they decided to shut down uh, i believe the end of 2014 2000 beginning of 2015 so uh they're no longer making jewelry but i believe there is uh, a lot of jewelry on the market and there probably is still some new with tag overstock that's still out there available for sale um and most of the pieces originally retailed for around twenty dollars and up to maybe a hundred. And I guess they also had a red carpet collection that ranged from one hundred twenty-five to thousand dollars. I do not believe I have ever come across those pieces. The pieces I've been getting are all quite reasonably priced. That's one reason why Leah Sophia is. Um, you know, if you're just starting to look, collect costume jewelry um, and you don't have a big budget to start, Leah Sophia, for the most part, is one of the more affordable brands. So, it uh, shouldn't take too long. I've only got, I think, about uh, 15, 20 pieces. What did I say? It looks like maybe two rings, two bracelets, three pairs of earrings, and eight necklaces. So, here's my normal housekeeping. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. That way I know people are actually watching these videos and I will continue to create content for you. And you can click the bell button that will notify you anytime I have new content ready to view. And uh, a lot of these pieces I'll probably list on eBay or one or two are already listed on my eBay store. Then the remainder I might offer as a Leah Sophia uh, lot. Just, uh, yeah, I think I might do that. But if you see anything in this or video or any of my videos you're interested in and you don't see it on my eBay store, just reach out to me, sales at thecreativecottage.net. Let me know which video you're watching, the timestamp of the item or items you're interested in, and a brief description, and we can start the conversation. Um, yeah. You, let me dump this out. And I've already got tangles. <laughs> of course. Oh, come on. So the first piece is this faux turquoise pendant. It's like stone. It's probably dyed howlite. Leah Sophia pieces are all very well marked. I don't know if you can see that. So it's got the Leah Sophia maker's mark there on the pendant and it's on this really cool slinky silver chain and it also has a maker's mark on the chain I do not know if I can get that to show up ah come here yeah Sophia yeah that's got the extender neat oh I'm gonna maybe put these on these little display boards as I go Earrings and more tangles. Oh, this piece is extremely long. 
it could potentially be um, a, w a waist chain, sort of like a belt, or maybe it's meant to be double to be worn as a necklace, but it's these big uh, kind of hematite colored faux pearls and big silver loops with some clear glass and black glass beads. And it's got the little lobster clasp and the extender. And again, it's got the, oops, Leah Sophia tag. So yeah, I think you could wear this either as a long necklace, a double necklace like this, or even as a, as a belt. So lots of options. funky. The earrings I'll put to the side until I find the matches. Man, I just went through this the other day and why is it all tangled? I don't even have that many pieces in this bundle. <laughs> Here's another piece, really cool, kind of faceted cat's eye stone on a silver tone metal. Again, stamped on the back. Leah Sophia and it's on this little cable chain lobster claw clasp and extender and it also has the tag right there <laughs> oh I'm going to show you one of the rings so I have another ring I cannot find it so here's this ring. I have already sold this ring previously on my eBay store, and this one came in another bundle. Um, it's a pretty popular style. Somewhere I also have the same style, but in all uh, kind of brushed silver tone. This one is black enamel, big rhinestone in the middle, and loads and loads of smaller rhinestones outlining the flower. This is coming in about eight and a quarter, eight and a half. Real fun. Don't know if I can show you the maker's marks. Rings are so hard to see the maker's marks because the band. Uh, I don't know if this is going to focus or not. You can see it's there. New. Trust me, it says Leah Sophia. <laughs> And I have two bracelets. Oh, I thought this is a clamper. It's like a clamper, but it's on stretch cord. Uh, looks like navy blue enamel. First it looked like black, but now looking at it through my camera, it looks blue. And it kind of looks like a belt buckle almost. Big rhinestone, little rhinestones here. Let me see. It's not going to focus, but that's where the maker's mark is. There it is. Let's see if I can get this on. That's small wrist, but big hands. Yeah, that's nice. Bruner, can I get it off? Come on. I'm going to put that over here. And if you saw some of my uh, jewelry supply unboxing videos, I got this kind of burlap linen-y uh, T-bar display from JPI Display. I did an unboxing the other day on the items I got from them. And this is a clamper bracelet. This is kind of crisscrossed, almost like snake skin looks like it might have had a safety class bear no longer there and there's the maker's mark India Sophia come on there it is kind of has an antique silver or pewter look to it Put 
bit over there. Where's my earrings? Okay. Earring. 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 Okay. So this I guess would be considered new with a card. It says Leah Sophia share the love of jewelry. And it looks like little red rhinestones, gold tone metal, little posts. Red and China. Hmm. those down there then I've got two more pairs of earrings and these I'm not sure if they're missing rhinestones they're these little what do they call them when they're this tiny like the tabe effect loads and loads of little dinky tiny rhinestones on antique gold tone metal almost like an infinity loop or interconnected little circles. Here's what they look like on the back with the Leah Sophia stamp on the little French hooks. I'll put these here. Cool. And then I've got these beauties. Kind of a mm, yeah, it's glass. Kind of a smoky topaz color faceted stones surrounded by the pave again uh, I'm gonna have to take a close look at these I think they're missing some stones so I probably won't end up selling these kind of an antique metal color post I'll put these on here real quick and I probably had the missing rhinestones in the bag I was looking at last night, I saw this little, what I thought was glitter, as probably, these stones are so tiny, it was probably one or two of the stones. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to find them. I'll check, but I'm sure they got swept up as dust. <laughs> and what else I got? Then I've got this cool, oops, do I have it? No, that's the way it goes. It said love, kind of a brushed or satin finish gold tone, a uh, little clear rhinestone on a gold tone chain with the lobster clasp and extender. And the Leah Sophia tag, so tiny. Yeah, Sophia. Hello. <laughs> we'll put that over here. Oh, here's a pendant I got. I think I bought this separately from Shot. Yeah, I usually don't buy individual pieces online because shipping can kind of take a bite out of your budget. But I just thought this was really cool. Uh, I believe it's just acrylic. Yeah, I think they're acrylic stones, not glass. This one's kind of cool. It has a striped little rhinestones. This is enamel. More acrylic. And the Sophia. Silver tone chain. With the lobster clasp and extender. And the Leah Sophia tag yeah. uh, I think I only have four more pieces here's another ring antique gold tone double band these let's see I think this is glass and that might be real tiger's eye feels cold. So these are two a black and a kind of ivory colored stone. Oh, is it missing a rhinestone? See, it's got a rhinestone, rhinestone, tiny rhinestone. And yeah, I think it's missing one there. Bummer. 
and the, we probably can't, it's not going to focus on that. The Leah Sophia mark is right there. No. Hmm. There it is. Let's see what size is on this. Ew. There you go. About a size eight. Probably keep that for myself since it's missing that one rhinestone. Kill. Is it missing? Yeah, it is missing a rhinestone. Sometimes the rhinestones, if it's like an older piece, are just dull. But yeah, I think that's actually missing a rhinestone. What do we got? Three more necklaces. Okay. I'm trying to get it untangled. I'm coming, I'm coming. So this is uh, kind of antique -y, silver tone, triple chain, and it's kind of almost look like pewter beads, just pot metal or whatever. And this little dangly. And a bunch of charms, some of them, that one says love, hope, joy, another one that says love, and a heart. Very long. I think you could fit it over your head. I don't think you need to undo the clasp, but it has a lobster clasp and an extender. And oops, where'd it go? Upside down. There it is, Leah Sophia, upside down. <laughs> I don't know, can you double this one? Uh, oh, these kind of move up and down on the chain. I can only put that one. And two more. So this one's a neat little blue gold stone pendant. Uh, blue gold stone is not actually gemstone. It's glass. And you typically see gold stone in that coppery color. Um, but they also make it in this blue gold stone color. And there's the Lo Leo Sophia. I think this one did not come with a chain yeah this is just a generic chain i had a 12 pound bundle of um silver and gold tone jewelry where did i get that from i think i got that from goodwill.com shop no not shop goodwill.com goodwillfinds.com yeah and it had a bunch of chains without any pendants or anything attached so i thought this one Kind of look nice. Why oh, that? Look how sparkly. Yee. And I've got one more necklace to go in this collection of Leah Sophia jewelry. Do that. And when I first saw this, I didn't even think it would be Leah Sophia. It's a little bit different than the other more simple pieces in the collection. Cute, look at this. It's got tons of like enamel and all different colored stones, little rhinestones, got this little floral bouquet. And this one I looked at quite carefully. I believe all the rhinestones are there. And then it's on uh, blue acrylic beads, silver tone chain. Lobster claw clasp, little extender. Here's what it looks like on the back. And then, where's the, yeah, here's the tag. Leah Sophia. That's cool. So. 
So I thought that was a nice piece. Different. So let me know in the comments. Are you a fan of the Leah Sophia jewelry? Do you collect it? Have you heard of Leah Sophia? Um, you know, for the most part, it's a more affordable price point as far as costume jewelry goes. Um, probably all in the 15 or 20 up to about $50 range. Um, although I, apparently they did make a line, like I said earlier, a red carpet collection that was a higher price point, but I don't know if that was also marked Leah Sophia or if that would say red carpet collection. I have not come across it uh, as far as I know. Unless I've sold just regular Leah Sophia or the red carpet as Leah Sophia. Maybe I'm ripping myself off. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I think I have this ring listed on my eBay store. And, which, oh. And this pendant listed on my eBay store. But the rest of these pieces that I just got in... Except for the ones missing rhinestones. I think I'm going to bundle them. And just, uh, yeah. I think I'm going to bundle them together. This one, I don't know. The gold stone, I really like this one. Is that a keeper? No, I can't keep all the things I like. <laughs> so, there you go. Another Meet the Artist from Lynn Smythe at the Creative Cottage. This was the Leah Sophia collection. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.